finally this week, simplicity. It has to be one of the absolute keys to business success. And really, something like a Lego brick is the epitome of simplicity. In fact, you could probably sit any number of adults down with a bucket of Lego and they'd be quite happy for a few hours. Of course, from that humble brick, it's grown into kit sets, games, movies, merchandising, all with great success. But we should note, Lego is building this franchise against the troubled times in its home economy of Denmark. First, the housing bubble burst in 2008. The country's made numerous attempts to revive the economy. And now the European Central Bank is flooding the Eurozone with printed money. The economy around Denmark is changing. It's pegged to the euro is under threat. And interest rates have been cut four times to minus 0.75%. Who knows all about Lego and Denmark? Well, how about the CEO himself? Jorgen Vignudstrop is joining us from, and this is quite fun to say actually, Lego headquarters <laughs> in Billund in Denmark. Jorgen, it is nice to see you. Given the chap who's standing behind you there over your left shoulder, I'm tempted to ask if, um, if everything is awesome. <laughs> Because certainly your numbers looked awesome, uh, sales numbers increasing. Tell us about that. I was uh, singing and dancing this morning when I was briefing the media about our results. <laughs> so yes, everything is actually quite awesome. Uh, not only in terms of some very strong financial numbers for the Lego Group in a 10th consecutive year of organic growth, but also in terms of our overall uh, satisfaction rating and, and overall stakeholder results. So for us, it means a lot that our Lego retailers, the people who sell our products, are um, uh, finding the business very attractive, they're making money, they're very happy with the service they're receiving from us. And also the children are talking more and more about the Lego brick and the Lego brand and are reporting it uh, with great recommendation to their friends and families. And finally, that our employees are, are very engaged and, and uh, motivated to stay creative. And these are the kind of results we've been sharing this morning and we are extremely uh, happy about and they are at a record level, so I would say yes, everything is awesome indeed. <laughs> <laughs> but is the, is the core business really intact here? The reason I ask that is because Lego has obviously changed so much, um, moved on from that, that core brick which you just held up before. Now, personally, that's the Lego I love. And, you know, I bought my daughter that for Christmas and told her you're going to play with some good, plain, solid Lego blocks. But we referenced the movie before. There's the kit sets and the video games. Is that where the growth now comes from or is that core brick still the, the real driver? Our core business is the driver of the growth because these other businesses that you talk about are operated by partners that we collaborate with. So the revenue from that goes into their businesses, not ours primarily. So that means when you're looking at such a growth that we experience it, it is on the Lego brick. So just as an illustration, our top five product lines are classics like Lego City, Lego Star Wars, Lego Duplo, Lego Friends, a theme particular may be relevant for your daughter and so on. So, you know, the list really reflects the core Lego offering is still what's driving this business. Okay, then let's uh, widen things out a bit. Tell me what it's like to do business in Europe at the moment. You know, the focus has obviously been on Greece for a while, but the, the stagnation, the joblessness, the currency issues, they are all still there and they've been there for a very long time. How do you find it is affecting or is it affecting the Lego business in Europe? It's actually having a relatively small impact on our business. I think when I look at our business in a long-term perspective, the macroeconomic environment in the short term is not super important. What it matters to us over the long term is the real growth in household incomes across the world. And you know, true, Europe hasn't grown a lot, but on the other hand, it has had a fairly stable development. And certainly we have not seen our market uh, fall apart. And in fact, uh, this year we've seen in countries like Sweden, Belgium, uh, the UK, we've seen a nice double-digit growth in the range to 10 to 20 percent. Uh, also in uh, Spain we've seen a similar growth, in Italy we've seen a similar growth. So, you know, I think the success of the Lego brand, of course, somehow is related to the overall macroeconomic development, but not so much influenced by the short-term fluctuations that you are referencing. Okay, if you can, though, can you sort of separate yourself from your Lego business for a moment and just speak to me as a businessman? Because what, what I want to know is whether you feel Europe is going down the right track economically to, to, to grow businesses, to, to create jobs. Do you feel as a businessman that Europe is going in the right direction? Well, I think it's not really for me to, uh, to comment on, on, on that question. Uh, we're, we're a global business and uh, we do business uh, equally much in Europe and in, in Asia and in the Americas. And uh, we're finding that uh, from our perspective, uh, as I say, there is an important uh, factor in the macroeconomic environment, environment but generally, 
uh, we're finding it very attractive to do business in all those regions. Okay, so can I ask you then, and you've, you've made the very good point that you are a, a global business, um, but can I ask you about business in your home economy uh, in Denmark? Um, the currency pegged to the euro, but that's under threat much as it was in Switzerland recently. Are you worried about that? Well, it's obviously very important for us because we're based in Denmark, so our reporting currency and our repatriation currency is the Danish corner. But uh, we take the view that over the long term we can uh, mitigate any changes in currency because we have a global uh, setup. Uh, it seems that the Danish National Bank is uh, defending the peg uh, of the Danish corner to the euro, and it seems to also be working out very successfully. And I do think that has been very important for the legal group over the past 15, 20 years. Okay then, let's just get a final question to you on the future then. You're obviously not going to want to give away your, your plans for the future on international television, but I would like you to give me whatever idea you can about well, what you're working on, what we can expect from LEGO. You know, obviously more of the, the lovely little plain simple bricks, which I love so much, but something new. Can you tell me something new about the company's direction? Well, I mean, I think for this year we are uh, uh, igniting once again our Ninjago uh, property, which is uh, a very exciting, one of our most successful lines in recent history. And uh, Warner has announced the intention to make a Lego Ninjago movie next year. Uh, so I think that's going to be incredibly exciting. Uh, also, we are relaunching our Bionicle theme that we have earlier had great success with 10 years ago. So that's going to be a major uh, emphasis for us this year. And then finally, for girls, with particular relevance for girls, we're launching uh, Lego Elves, which is a fantasy theme uh, set in the same context as the Lego Friends theme. So uh, I think these are some of the exciting things we're working on on the product assortment side. And then on the digital side, we're also working increasingly on linking between the physical product and the digital product. Jorgen Vignudstrop and Emmett behind you as well. Thank you so much for your time.